movieweb.com. The biggest event in two million years is about to go to a whole new dimension. Nobody move a muscle. After the third movie, I've got to know, a lot of the, the voice actors never get a chance to meet each other. Have you guys interacted and met each other, like you and Queen Latifah and John? Queen Latifah, I, I've seen uh, at the press things for the movie, and then I've seen her, uh, we eat at the same su sushi place, so I saw her once or twice there, but that's it. John Leguizamo, uh, I haven't seen him in a while, the last press junket, last year. Dennis Leary I knew from stand-up. Dennis Leary and I did stand-up together for a number of years before went our ways. I haven't seen him in a while either. So when you're at sushi, do you kind of try to pick something out of that meeting and then bring it into this movie, or does it just... You know, I, I, I did the whole second movie without ever, ever meeting her, you know? So you have to, the director's got to be real good then, because he's <laughs> got to be Queen Latifah for me, you know? And it's a little Spanish guy. Who, uh... well, I was going to say, how does that work? That's got to be a yeah, kind yeah. of a weird... Yeah, it's, it's hard. I mean, that, that's where the director comes in, you know? He, He's got to, he almost has to create chemistry for you, you know? Um, and you just got to trust that it's working, you know? And, and he's got to, if he thinks, well, you're being too this and she was too this, he's, he's going to change it for you, you know? He's gonna, or he's going to tell you about it. But then, you know, now that we've done it, I kind of know, I know her voice, I know her style, I know John's voice. So you kind of keep that in your head when you're doing it. Okay, look, if you feel anything, even if it's nothing, you gotta tell me, and then we're out of here. Okay. Oh, we need a code word. Yeah, something that says, the baby's coming. Hmm, how about, ah, the baby's coming. How's that? Yeah, too long. We, we need something short and punchy, like, uh, peaches. Peaches. I love peaches. They're, they're sweet and round and fuzzy, just like you. You think I'm round? Uh, round is good. Round is foxy. I want to know, how difficult is it to si simulate childbirth in a room by yourself while there's like three sweaty technicians looking on in the other room? Well, if anything, the hard part is trying to keep from passing out from breathing in and out so much. <laughs> you have to train for those situations. <laughs> Over and over and over and over, and cut. Now give us one more take of that. All right, one more take and we should have it. I mean, if anything, I've heard stories about people who've had to do that and, or been doing these jogging scenes where they're like, and they're out of breath and they have to mimic that and they literally passed out on the floor. Yeah, you really have to, you really have to try to know how to breathe and use whatever technique you can because you might just fall out. I like to present Egbert, Shelly, and Yoko. Sid? Whatever you're doing, it's a bad idea. Shh, my kids will hear you. They're not your kids, Sid. Take them back. <laughs> you're not meant to be a parent. Why not? First sign, stealing someone else's eggs. Second sign, one of them almost became an omelet. <gasps> Sid, someone's probably worried sick looking for them. No, they were underground in ice. If it wasn't for me, they'd be egg sickles. Ah. Sid. You're gonna have a family too someday. You're gonna meet a nice girl with with low standards, no real options, or sense of smell. What Manny means to say is, no, I get it. You have your family, and I'm better off alone by myself. Now, it seems to me that Sid has gotten a little bit more smarter over the course of these three films. Is that a little bit true? <laughs> I think emotionally smart. I mean, that's what you got. You get some uh, emotional smarts. He realized that, you know, man, he's doing that thing where guys, you know, get a chick and they get and they reject their friends and forget about them for a while. So I'm being pushed to the side. And Sid's going, all right, I'll take care of myself. I'll be, a, I'll go at it alone in a fortress of solitude. And he falls into a, a whole other dimension where he finds unconditional love from orphan dinosaurs. Well, it's kind of weird that you say that because I don't know too many single guys that would go off and collect three babies all at one time. So he's kind of got a unique perspective. Right, he's, he's, he's representing for single moms. Single moms, what's up? And he represents for single moms, you know, no significant other, raising three kids by himself. Yeah, it's a whole new maternal angle. <laughs> what? 
The name's Buck. Short for Buckminster. Long for... Buck. What are you doing here? Our friend was taken by a dinosaur. Well, he's dead. Welcome to my world. Now, uh, go home. Off you pop. Maybe the deranged hermit has a point. Manny, we came this far, we're gonna find him. Let's go. Uh, Buck is a, a lovely, lovable, uh, crazy uh, one-eyed weasel who has lived in this prehistoric world on his own for who knows how long and had to get used to the environment, learn what not to touch, what to touch, who to speak to, what to avoid, and uh, has entered into this strange relationship with a giant baryonyx dinosaur, this, this albino huge thing, the biggest of the dinosaurs, uh, which took his eye in a fight, but he managed to take one of his teeth. And so has this feeling now that they're sort of linked. And it's very much in the spirit of Captain Ahab and Moby Dick, is that he, he feels that it's an ongoing battle between the two, and really it's just one way. Earthquake! Do earthquakes shriek? Extinct. Well, then that is one angry fossil. And what does it mean to you to be a part of this franchise now, coming in in the second one and going? I through mean, the it's wonderful. It's been it's been really good. Like my family, my 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 nephews and my niece get to enjoy this, and you no, know, they they call me Aunt Ellie. <laughs> you know, when these come out, and you know, my friends and their kids. Like to me, it's a gift. It's a gift to me, and it's a gift to them. You know, to be able to share a movie with them that I get to be in and. You know, get to take them to the premiere and have some fun, and you know, it was. It's, it's usually a lot of fun when they do these kinds of premieres, but just to have a film that my friends have kids who popping in and watch it over and over and over and get to enjoy, and there's not a whole lot of things out here that the parents can enjoy and the kids can enjoy, uh, and the grandparents can enjoy. You know, this is one of those movies. It's just for everybody. Did you have a particular scene you really enjoyed seeing once the film was finished? Yeah, I, I, I loved the scene where, where I was drawing the faces on the eggs and, and then it starts to rain. It's like, oh, they're crying. I mean, all that emotional stuff was kind of funny and hard to get to be that innocent and, and, uh, and sort of like uh, genuine. So I, I was really curious to see how that would play. Well, now I heard that four is already in production. Nobody told me. No one told you. Get my agent. Get my agent on the phone. <laughs> Would you feel like you're yeah. tied to this guy for the rest of your life? You know, if or... they keep making them interesting and they, if they have a new story, then I'll do it. If it feels ever that you know we've done it, we've run the course, then uh, you know you don't want to you don't want to taint it. Then you I will mean, kill Manny off, and the rest of he'll go. go on he'll get a, a, a girlfriend. They'll get Somewhere. a fast food franchise or something. Yeah, yeah. They'll get a Starbucks. Sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll get rid of them somehow. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Maybe you're hungry. I know just the thing. Sid, whatever you're doing, it's a bad idea. Hush, hush. You mean this is animal. I'm your baby, and this is my milk. <laughs> I thought you were a female! Only in theaters, 4th of July weekend in digital 3D.